Right. All right, Ashlyn Harris, the goalkeeper for the Orlando Pride, Ali Krieger, they're coming in studio. We're going to talk to them. Big game, big match, I should should say, on Saturday at the new soccer stadium here in Orlando. It's the Phillips File. We want to fill that stadium, all right? That's the goal. No pun intended. It's the Phillips File on Real Radio 104.1. Four one as promised. Big match in the new Orlando Soccer Stadium on Saturday. Orlando Pride take on the uh, Washington Spirit, uh, their first uh, home game in the new stadium, of course. And as promised, Ashlyn Harris, the goalkeeper for the Orlando Pride, and Allie Krieger are in studio with us. Good to see you again. It's good to see you. You're a return customer, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Thanks for having me back. It's our pleasure. So um, you had that loss. Oh, oh, that's why we're there. going. No, we're no. starting off That's there. where we're going to begin. But, no, by the way, that was a great save. I mean, that was a, oh. that was a beautiful save. So, I mean, how do you how do you how do you recover? Do you put, put that all aside, or is that you know as you start mm-hmm. this uh, this uh, this game it's in first, Orlando? First Saturday? game of the season. You know, these mm-hmm. it's just like these a learning. Happen. Yeah, it's a learning experience. I think. Uh, you know, now our focus is on D.C. for this weekend's home match. Um, but if you want to bring it back there, we will. We no, want to fill, what we want to do is fill the stadium for this match. <laughs> yes, we do. But we I think do. we're well on our way to doing it. Again, a lot of publicity, a lot of talk mm-hmm. about this. It's a great team. There's no question about that. So how's the team different this season from last? Uh, we've got extremely good players. Right. Um, what are you Allie? saying about last Allie's year? Allie's waving <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Allie's <laughs> waving. Well, Allie Krieger's on the Hello. roster Hello. now. Kidding, you have kidding. Marta coming in. She's flying in tonight. She's going to be playing oh, on Saturday, yeah. yes. course, according to the mm-hmm. coach. Whether she has jet lag or not, she's going to be out <laughs> she's there, right? Out there. Some great new additions at this point. And mm-hmm. um, the thing is, is you know, the, the Alex, you know, the, the CEO, he, he came in and, and he said, we're looking to win a championship and we're taking this very serious. Right. This is... The women's game is not a charity for us. We don't do this because we feel like we have to. Right. We do this because we want to win. Right. How has uh, women's soccer changed over the past couple of decades? I mean, it's I mean, it's very physical. That was my impression. Oh, they you don't know. screw around. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, years and years and years ago, it would be with and no no insult intended. It'd be like you know the ball. Really? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you were afraid of it. Like eh. my wife used to play soccer. And she would describe it, you know, it wasn't as certainly it's not as physical as it is now. I mean, it's a tough, tough physical game. and You play it that way. Yeah. It wasn't always that way. No, I right, think let me ask you this question. Oh, here. Women's soccer in the United States overall is 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 the best in the world, is it not? Absolutely. Yes. Mm-hmm. U.S. women's soccer players are the best female soccer players in the world. Why Thank is you. that? Men's U.S. men's no. The Both point that I'm trying to make is, men's soccer players in the United States are good, but they're not the best in the world. Hmm. Yeah. They're they're not the best. They're good, but they're not the best in the world. I'm you know, they're just not. But U.S. female soccer players are the best in the world. Why is that? I think um, you know, there's there's two main reasons for that. Our mentality is a lot different than. Um, I think any other team in the world, I think, uh, we have a really strong mentality. We're, we're very ambitious. We are very, um, competitive. We're very determined. We want to succeed. We want to win every single, every single game. And even in training, every single drill or exercise or or a five V five tournament, it's as simple as that, or even, you know, uh, soccer tennis, you want to win everything. And that's what is, is I think inside of each and every one of us and our mentality as, you know, uh, uh, a country as well, just to be the best in everything we do. And also, um, I think we're very athletic and, uh, maybe more, uh, you know, athletic than in any other country, um, that, that I've seen and that I've played with. I feel like we have, um, a lot of athleticism. Better within. training may be better. Exactly. And I think. Is um, it somewhat sexist? I mean, in other countries, it's like, it's still, well, we don't think that women should oh, be playing soccer. Not, not, not anymore. I don't anymore. think not anymore. No, 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 no. But I, also, I think the game has become more technical now. It's changed over the years. It's not just like this direct 
uh, game anymore. I think that we've gotten much more technical and tactical, um, you know, in, in, in the way that, you know, other European teams or, or teams around the country are playing. And so um, I think you match that technical ability with athleticism and our mentality, and you have a bunch of winners and champions. Alan, uh, Ali Krieger and Ashlyn Harris, our guest. Who leads the team on the pitch? Is it always the captain, or is it? Oh. And how does that happen? Is it orga- <laughs> No, does somebody? Does the cream? The does the cream rise to the mm-hmm. top, and uh, somebody and oh, everybody sure. says that person is leading the team on the pitch? You have to earn your spot, or do you I mean, just step you, right up and take. It? Do you know? Do you know that beforehand, or do, is it is it organic? It just works itself out on the pitch, and all of a sudden everybody mm-hmm. kind of agrees. You know that person is really coalescing the team on the pitch I, I think people lead in different ways so for me i'm very vocal i'm very aggressive i'm in your face right. i'm holding everyone accountable into right. a high standard and then there's some people who like to lead by example um ali likes to work her tail off everything she does is pure class clean technical ability like from top to bottom so that raises the standard as well mm-hmm. so i think everyone brings some type of quality to the table depending on what their leadership role is um in what order their style for us, is. yeah yeah, order, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean i understand it's a collective you have everybody has their part to play but is there always that one person who kind of rises up that's you know the leader for a particular match or is just kind of the leader of of the team I think does that make, does it make any sense? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Ashley does an amazing job in that and tremendous job in that because she demands a lot, um, not only out of herself, but uh, out of her teammates, but more yeah. importantly, even out of herself and her expectations are very high for her performance. And then that kind of, you know, mm-hmm. trickles down into the team. But for me uh, personally, I think that there's a few on each team. Um, you kind of have to step into that role and, and say, look, I'm, I'm ready to take the team on my shoulders and carry this team. And mm-hmm. um, I think that, you know, she does a great job of that as, as well as for me, I'm a bit more demanding, but I can also be very supportive and I try and balance the two very well. Um, but I, I, I tend to lead, you know, not maybe not as vocally, but um, more by example. And, and, on, and on the field, you know, big players make uh, big plays and big games. And I think that, you know, you turn to those players on the team who are the, maybe the more, more experienced players who have been through, um, you know, different leagues or different games and um, different levels. And, and I think that that is what determines, you know, a, a good leader, um, you know, in those in those tough times and those tough games that we have. Yeah, tickets are still on sale for this match on Saturday, by the way. You can go to Orlando-Pride.com. Let me ask you a question. What's in the fridge? What's in the fridge that shouldn't be in the fridge? <laughs> Oh, I just had two fudge cookies before I came here with my coffee. <laughs> that's two whole cookies, Jim. Two. Just two. <laughs> that's just it. Two, yeah. Yeah. Moderation, and that, and Jim. Moderation. Yeah. Did you have, to, he doesn't know that word. Did no, you have I a chocolate have no, Easter bunny over it. the weekend? No. Uh, I'm no. trying to quit. No. Yeah, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> just asking. Uh, we actually order food. So we do HelloFresh. So everything comes Love in. Love that. Yeah. Everything comes in exactly what Portion you need. Portion control. Portion fabulous. control. Yep. Um, really slims your body down. You realize what a true portion is. That's Unlike true. Us yeah. Americans. We hope, what, what, we is hope a, that. Yeah. what is a true portion? I have no idea what that yeah. is. It's, I didn't it's either. Smaller, size, yeah, it's smaller size of than fist, you think. Yeah. Yeah. Of a that's chicken a, that's breast? That's a true portion? That's a portion the size of your fist is supposed to be. The chicken breast is supposed to be that big. But most people, they fill the but, plate. But they feed you, right? I mean, training. Oh, yeah, you show, you. show up I in mean, the morning. And uh, so they've got the, you know, yeah. they got the table, they got the fruit, they got the this, they got everything. And are you allowed to take anything home? Yes. Yeah. If are I'm you really? Take, yes, absolutely. Oh, no they have breakfast, lunch, and sometimes even dinner if we, if you know, we we would like that. But um, everything's provided for us to to then, you know, mm-hmm. uh, help us uh, be a hundred percent on the field. So it's it's. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time at the training facility, sure. so it's, you know, we have very little time to go out and, you know, shop for, for everything all the time. So um, that's why, you know, the this, you know, ordering food on, from HelloFresh or any other yeah, yeah. Um, is outlet a, is, is we're really not good for us. Say that either. Is it a pretty good <laughs> yeah, spread up at, uh, up at Lake Sylvan? I mean, or, I mean, do you say, wow, I'd like an omelet, or can you say, I'd like uh, two you know, uh, two eggs over easy, or is it just that's what you get? You know, you're getting scrambled eggs whether you like it or not. You get a variety. You get mm-hmm. oatmeal. Do they have a guy yeah. there with a big hat? You yeah, know, exactly. At yeah. a carving exactly station? Like exactly. White, do? Yep. Yeah. White cap. He's flipping pancakes yep. and eggs and anything you want. Bacon. Yep. 
that. Scrubbing my shoes. Yeah. Ashley, no, how he's do you, not. How do you like the, uh, what, the, you've been practicing a little in the, on the new stadium, on the new pitch. How do you like it compared to uh, the Citrus Bowl that you left behind with the turf? Oh, my gosh. That turf was terrible. I am oh, the so happy stuff. Yeah. to be on grass. Mm. My body wakes up every morning and thanks me personally. <laughs> Is it uh, more dangerous playing on artificial turf yeah. as opposed to, yeah, to it's, grass? It's, Why? Do you, it just you grabs, trip more often? It just or you grabs just... harder on your, on your, your cleats Skin. grab really hard yeah. in that like rubber turf. There's like rubber, rubber flakes. So your your studs and your and your cleats grab hard, mm -hmm. so it causes knees and and also all like the types. pounding, yeah. it's like cement. You're just like constantly like pounding your body on cement. It just makes me feel ten years older every time I train on it. So right. talk to me about superstitions. Do you have any before uh, the game? Oh gosh, I'm so OCD. I have a million. <laughs> you do? Oh my gosh. Oh, tell uh, me. I'm. We don't have we'll all night. I know we do not have all night. But... I mean, do you put a do you put a boot on a particular yes, way? Yes, everything really... left before right. Me too. I'm yeah. the same way. Left before right, and then when I take everything off, it's right before left. Hmm. Oh, but no is it kidding. is it left sock, right sock, or left sock, left boot, right sock, right? No, boot? left, right, left, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. For yeah. me, it's it's different. I mean, similar but different. It's it's left sock, then right sock, then left boot, then right boot, then left shin guard, then right shin guard. It's really weird that we have similar um, <laughs> superstitions yeah. before the game, but. Um, that's it though. But Nothing my, my, else. My really. whole day, my pattern has to be the same. Like I'm last weekend, you we drive had, the yeah, same way. You have everything. Everything has to be. If I wake up from morning until I leave for the stadium, it has to. I have to be in my pattern. I have to be in my routine. Are you the type of person where you say, "Oh, geez, I mean, did I close that door? Do you? I mean, do you go back home? Or do you think yeah, I get that way sometimes? Like. I forgot to yeah, do did this. I, lock I did it? that. Did I turn off the stove? A particular way. Oh of, no! Did I set I, the alarm? I, I check. I, I check doors. I check windows. I'm like crazy. Really? And, yeah. Mm. I I'm on top of it. I'm yeah. a little OCD. I know that. Well, that's okay. There's nothing yeah, wrong there's with nothing that. Wrong with it. Nothing wrong really? at all. So Orlando Dash Pride dot com for tickets. Of course, we want to fill that bowl. Tell me about Marta. Who's uh, coming in? You've played with uh, Marta, played against yes. her or with her? We both have played with her in um, Tierra If I said that uh, correctly, in it's Sweden. in Sweden. Um, we played there for about four or five months with her, and she's an incredible player, best player in the world. Um, and she's uh, uh, one of the best team players I've ever played with. Um, but I had to Are defend you just saying her. that, or is she really? No, no, she really is. She's no, so, no, no. She, no. she works her yeah, butt off. I, I know she's a great player. I'm simply saying, when you play, you said, oh, my God, now I understand. Oh, yeah. Or you yeah. said, no, yeah, she's, no, she's pretty absolutely. damn good. But. She's so legit. That. She could so. play on the men's team. Yeah, I value what? her so much. I'm telling you. Absolutely. I'm telling you. When really? You, when yeah. a new player comes in, though, and the first time you guys are playing together is a game time, it, it, is it easy just to plug and play a person in uh, because you don't have that chemistry? You don't have that any practice together. Mm -hmm. I mean, is she there any need concern? It. She doesn't no. need it. I feel like when you're at our level and you're very professional, you're able to say, okay, what would you like me to do? And I'll apply it to the game as best I can. So that's kind of the type of player she is. And I think a lot of us are who are, you know, are experienced enough and played at this level for a long time. Um, you can kind of just throw us in and we're going to do our job. And I think that's the type of leadership she's going to bring in the front line for us, which is what we need right now and i think it's it's she's incredible and uh we we both have played with her and we've watched her over the years and we played against her and she's honestly the best the best player in the world i'm, ha I'm about... happy that she's on our team yes. 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 i don't have to go yes. against her there you go. <laughs> oh, really? and an incredible oh, person too she's just like so um fun to be around outgoing and she's just really energetic and um you know playing the guitar and singing and and bringing that uh, energy into the locker sure. room is going to be really healthy for us. You'll spend a lot of time, I mean, away from the, the practice field and the, and the games, I mean, socializing, or is it just everybody kind of goes their own their own way? We spend all day together. So you can't wait to get away from yeah. one another? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's actually <laughs> nice to, to breathe a little bit. You're talking about being around 25 girls all day long. That makes you want to pull your hair out. No, tell me you about know what it's like, yeah. right, Jeff? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the big player, yeah. of course. You drive yeah. me to drink sometimes, but um, yeah, we have a really. I think so far we have great chemistry within the within the squad. So it's it's you know, of course, we're going to do things here and there after games. We'll get together, sure. Or, but um, and your reaction to the supporters? I mean, it's been an incredible journey. I mean, for the men's team and for the women's team and the B team. Did the women's team beat the B team. 
Oh. We can barely beat our U15 ones. <laughs> You're supposed you to say yes. I mean, yes. Yeah. But I mean, the, talk to me about the support here in Orlando. It, the, does it surpass your expectations? Where everybody's say, purple downtown and the whole thing. When this everybody... first came to fruition many years ago, yeah. I, said, I said, this is going to happen. I mean, we're going to go from USL to to uh, to Major League Soccer, the, you know, when it was announced that the Pride would be put together. It was no surprise to me at all. But I'm just wondering whether, geez, man, alive, the support for all these teams is incredible. Yeah, I mean, I think it's been incredible as well I, I'm, I'm really excited for Ali to experience it for the first time this weekend and Marta and all the new players who haven't felt that culture yet and I, for me I just think the the people are so electrifying and they come to these games and they just like yeah. have the time of their life <laughs> it's not just it used to be you just sit kind of like it's quiet sometimes you clap I mean these people are on their feet the entire game they're, they're standing screaming, right they're screaming they're yeah. beating on drums fog and smoke and everything's i mean that it helps. is the most insane yeah. atmosphere that help when you're out there do atmosphere. you notice that or is that that just you, you can white or, noise yeah no absolutely i mean i think when a game time comes along you're you can hear it in the background but you're not as focused like you just are focused on you know the task at hand and, and being successful and your position for the team but i think that you just notice their passion for the game as well and uh, that's something that's so relatable for us because we're so passionate about this beautiful game and what we want to uh, do and and how we want to succeed and i think that you see that in their in their faces and and uh in their reactions and i think that that is something that motivates and inspires all of us to want to be successful and win so that's something that's really great about uh this community these fans i've that i've seen already a couple of minutes remaining with ashlyn harris and ali krieger talk to me about uh, coach Sermani. Do you need an interpreter for Coach Sermani? <laughs> I've been, oh, I've been to dinner with him, you know, and, and I can't understand anything he's saying. I just, well, I just seriously, don't. I, hey, it's the wine speaking sometimes, too, you know? Um, yeah, and he's a wonderful he's guy. He he's, is a, he's, uh, he's, a, literally he's an best. absolutely terrific guy, but it's like, what did what, you, you just say? say? I don't understand yeah. anything you're saying. No. Oh, man, he he has a funny sense of humor, and it's it's so refreshing to have a coach like that. I mean... Um, there's times when he's super serious, so it's like it's awkward because he's not usually like that. Yeah, but right. when he is serious, he's still funny. <laughs> so it's like you're not sure to laugh or like <laughs> be quiet. But I, I mean, I would run through a brick wall for him. So I'm I I love playing for that man. I think he's incredible, and um, yeah, he is absolutely hilarious <laughs> in everything he does. He's just a character. One yeah, more, yeah. One more thing before we let you go, uh, that gentleman over there. With the beard, the, pinky. Yeah, the the, the <laughs> hipster, the, the hipster, guy. the millennial in there. Mm -hmm. Was it last year? Two or years year ago. Before? Uh, two years ago. Yeah. 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 He, Damn, he boasted that that, uh, that um, uh, the Orlando Lions couldn't score a goal on him, <laughs> so he dressed him up, he dressed him out as a goalkeeper, <laughs> and. Uh, I blocked him. With your face. <laughs> With his face. Yeah. And he broke his glasses. Wearing and he got sunglasses. He actually, yeah. Uh, how many shots on, on goal did they did they take against I you? I think it was 10. And, and how many did they get in? Nine. Uh, zero. They got oh, in no. nine. <laughs> so he's, he's putting up the challenge to the pride as well. He doesn't think that anybody with the Orlando pride can, can score on him. Bring it on. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll show you. All right, show all we're going to get that set up when we do Tally, that. Let's do it. Tally gave him a lesson first because he was clearly unprepared. I heard you got a concussion after that. I don't he know what that word means. He got knocked in the next week. He, he got, got bonked right, right in the face. Right between the eyes. That thing must have been going 50 miles an hour. It was like, it got it right between it was, the eyes. It was horrible. The, I think I, the, didn't you stand up and like walk it off like a yeah. champ and everyone oh, was yeah, like, oh. Now he's ready to try again. I think he has amnesia uh, still because he thinks it's a good idea. A, yeah. Where am I? Like, right, was that's like our pigment. Flying around. <laughs> like in the cartoon. Tweet, 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 tweet. Uh -huh. That's too good. Uh -huh. All right, we'll get yeah, that Let's set do up. it. Oh, Jim, real mobile texting in. Satellite high graduates send their love to Ashlyn. Oh. Okay, ladies. Oh, hi. Hey, thanks for joining us. Best of luck on uh, Saturday. We're going to fill that uh, stadium. Tickets, Orlando-Pride. Dot com. Thanks for stopping by. It's mm. fun. Thanks for having Thank us. You. You got it. Thank you. Guys. It's the Phillips Violon.